So in this section, I'm going to examine the whole command. And to get the command, you need to go to insert sketch base feature and you can find whole command here. So if I select this, it says, do you want to select a plane or a surface to create the hole on that? If you select a plane, as a matter of fact, you really don't need to have a material or something like that. But here, I have some material that I'm going to create a hole on that, so I select this face. And by selecting this face, a preview of the hole is going to be shown to me. And what I'm going to do is to go to Hole Definition dialog box, and you can see that there are some options here for the depth of the hole. The first option is blind. This means that I need to define the depth of the hole based on the units that I'm using. Let's say, for example, I want to have a 25 millimeters hole or one inch hole or whatever that you wish to have. But I can have the hole up to the next object, last object, next plane that I have, or the surface that I am using. So let's just start with blind. That's going to be much easier and I have more control over that. So let's say that the diameter of the hole is going to be 10 millimeters in my case and the depth is going to be something like 25 millimeters. So the preview is going to reflect what I am going to do here. And also there is a small preview in the dialog box itself that is showing the type of hole that I am creating. Okay, the direction can be reversed and you can see Although I don't have any material here, I can create the hole. And also, again, I can dig it inside the pad object that I have right now. The hole can be normal to surface. This means that it goes perpendicular to the surface that I have chosen. Or I can have a line or an axis. If I just remove this check from here and right click, you can see different options for creating a reference for the hole's direction. I just prefer to have this normal to surface. But something that's interesting is about the bottom of the hole. Let me rotate this a little bit so that you can see the bottom of the hole. You can see a V shape at the bottom of the hole. If you wish to have that V shape, you need to make sure that the bottom on this side tells V bottom, not flat. But if you wish to have flat again, you can create this using a flat bottom. So. There are position in a sketch, and this one is very important. What I'm going to do is to press my middle mouse button, and at the same time, my left mouse button. This is a little hard to work, but you can see rotation is enabled by mouse click. Now, what I'm going to do is to grab this point and move it wherever I wish. But, of course, this is a little hard to work like this. I prefer to have something like full control over the hole, so what I need to do is to click on this position in a sketch button here and by clicking on this button I can have this point here so what I'm going to do is to click on constraint command click on this point click on this line and I'm going to put this here and again I'm going to click on constraint command click on this point click on this line and I'm going to put this here what I need to do is to make sure that this point is something like 30 millimeters from this edge and 30 millimeters from this edge and right now this is fully defined so I exit the workbench and this is the place that I have put my fold in that and again let me rotate this a little bit so again I press my middle mouse button and then left mouse button and I'm going to rotate this to show you the changes by selecting different types of the hole. So I click on type tab here and you can see that right now this is a simple hole. As a matter of fact, it is a simple hole, but I can have a tapered hole, counter board or counter sunk or counter drilled. So let's examine different types of that. If I click on taper, you can see there is going to be something like a V shape hole here. Right now the angle is so extreme, 90 degrees, but sometimes I prefer to have something like 10 degrees, right? So I just select this and I click somewhere and you can see that 10 degrees is enabled for the taper that I have chosen to have. But also you can see that the whole standard doesn't have anything in this case. Uh, the other option is to have counter bore and the only thing that I can tell you is the uh, the board diameter should be something bigger than the hole diameter. Otherwise, Katia is going to give you an error.
So you can see that the bore diameter is 15 millimeters. Although if I go back here, the diameter of the hole is 10 millimeters, right? But if I make it, let's say, for example, 8 millimeters, I'm going to receive this error that says the counterboard diameter's value must be greater or equal to the main diameter. So again, this 15 millimeters is going to be good. And what about the counterbore depth? It can't be deeper than this 25 millimeters that I have chosen as the depth of the hole. So if I go back to type, I just want to have something like 3 millimeters for the depth and just do that. And again, whatever I do, you can see it reflects in the preview here. The other thing is counter sunk. And again, by choosing the depth and the angle, you can have something like counter sunk for the head of the, um, for, for the end of the, whatever it's you are using for the screw or something like that. Let's say I'm going to have something like five millimeters and the angle is something like 90 degrees. So you can see the shape here. And again, because I chose countersunk on this little icon here, I can see the type of the, you know, hole that I am creating. And finally, I have counter drill, and you can see the type of counter drill again here. And for counter drill, we have three dimensions, the angle, the depth, and the diameter and you're creating this like this. And finally, we can thread the hole if we wish to. So if I want to have a threaded hole, I just click on this threaded option. And based on the standards or codes that I am using, I can have different, you know, definitions for pitch, hole depth, or whatever that I wish to have. Let's say I want to have a pitch of 2 millimeters, so I just type 2 millimeters. And all of them, of course, would be defined in your code books, but right now I'm just choosing. Also, I can have right threaded or left threaded as an option. And also, again, I can choose metric or imperial or whatever that I wish to have. Again, I can have a support for that. And all of these definitions that are too much, as a matter of fact, are here just to, you know, give you the ability to create a hole for your purpose and finally i can click on preview and then if i am happy with what i have here i just click on ok and right now you can see that again it is a little hard to work with mouse and this is the hole that i just created here i can replicate this hole in any direction that i wish to but right now that's okay i just press Control c and just move it to here and if I wish I can replicate it using arrays or something like that or I can create more holes if I wish to